Hello guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on my kayak trolling motor project. I didn't really change a lot, um, but um, it made a major difference. So um, this was my system before the update. I had um, a battery box, then um, I had uh, very long DC wires that went to the ESC that was basically submerged. And um, then I had very small, uh, very short AC uh, wires that went to the motor and gearbox and powered the gearbox. So, uh, the main problem was that I only got about 50% use out of the batteries um, because of the high voltage drop over the DC lines. And um, I actually did some math. So, if you say that um, this 3 meter um, wire um, is equivalent to, R, um, to the resistance R1, and um, that the current is equivalent to I1, then the voltage drop is um, 2 times R1 times I1. So, um, that doesn't really say us a lot, but um, yeah, our main problem is the big, big, big voltage drop over these DC lines, and um, it's uh, also uh, factor 2 because the current in DC has to go through the wire once and then back through the other wire. So basically goes in a loop and that's not very efficient. So the new system is basically um, still the same battery box, then uh, the same EC, but only very, very short um, DC wires. Um, and um, over these uh, DC wires we are going to have significantly less voltage drop. And not only that, but um, because we have now the uh, longer wires that go to the motor, um, that are AC wires now, um, we also have um, a lot less um, uh, losses over these, uh, over these components. And um, now um, the advantage is that we can use the batteries almost 100% and um, that basically doubles the effective range of the system. And um, if we do the math, um, for the wire efficiency, for you know the main wires that are 3 meters long, um, uh, we can calculate that um, the uh, three-phase AC uses less current per wire um, because uh, it basically divides the power uh, through uh, three lines. So we get um, about one third of the current per wire and we say that the resistance is still R1. So now we get um, a voltage drop of only one third R1 times I1. So this is six times less voltage drop uh, and uh, thus uh, um, greater efficiency than uh, the uh, first system. And um, the voltage drop to the ESC um, between the battery box and the ESC is even smaller because um, we only have about 50 centimeter wires um, going back and forth. So the voltage drop is only about one tenth, one twelfth of uh, the uh, voltage drop in the first system. Well, the question is, why didn't I do that in the first place? And the reason is, I didn't really know um, how much uh, or how good these uh, brushless motors would perform um, when having very long um, coaxial but still very long wires to them. 
because they're um, that motor sensorless so it the ESC um, controls the uh, motor pulses via back EMF and um, yeah and I didn't know if uh, that would still work with three meter long wires or if the voltage drop would be so high that uh, the ESC just gets no feedback and doesn't know where the motor is going but uh, turns out yeah it's still working and um, it's working pretty good um, there is very little um, start up ripple so um, usually when you have uh, a big brushless motor and uh, it's sensorless and you are trying to get uh, starting torque so basically you want to start the motor under load and it starts to stutter and uh, you get that weird spinning back and forth um, yeah um, I was really afraid that that could happen but it didn't so yeah the question remains uh, what what is still a challenge what can be improved in the future and uh, the main problem with uh, the system now is that we still have the same ESC so it's only 90 amps and of course after the update it's still only 90 amps it gets a little bit more current maybe but uh, yeah it's still uh, it's still very power limited so we can actually calculate that um, with uh, the battery capacity and the range that I got I could calculate that at, with a 2S battery, that's 7.4 volts, um, we get a power of about 220 watt and a current of 30 amps. So um, the um, RPM of, uh, the, of the motor is proportional to the voltage. And we can use uh, formulas of similarity theory to calculate how much more power and thus when we know the proportional um, <coughs> the proportions of uh, RPM and uh, voltage then we can calculate the new current at different different battery levels with different voltages so um, <clears throat> when uh, we want to calculate the, um, the difference in power and uh, this is um, proportional to the RPMs the new RPMs divided by the old RPMs to the power of 3 so when we say that the new voltage let's say we want to use a 4S battery instead of a 2S then we can uh, we know that the RPM, the new RPM, will be about double the old RPM. So we can put that into our equation, and we get that the um, with the uh, double the voltage, we will draw about eight times the power. And um, when we calculate the power, um, we can just multiply it by a factor of eight. So we got about 1,800 watts. And um, when we can use, then we can use um, just the formula for electric power, and uh, we can calculate the current because we know that uh, our new voltage is two times the old voltage, and we know that the new power is eight times the old power. So we know that the new current will be four times the old current. So that means. That when the old current is 30 amps, um, the new current will be 120 amps. And 120 amps is obviously more than what the ESC is rated for because it's only rated for 90 amps continuous, and um, that is only when it gets continuous cooling. And um, the problem with the new system is um, we need an internal water cooling loop with uh, water cooling tank and a water cooling pump. Mm -hmm. 
and um, obviously the uh, water uh, heats up over time and it loses cooling efficiency. It works for 2S but I think for 4S uh, we would also need a radiator to get full performance. So um, this explains why the system um, overheats on the 4S battery within less than 60 seconds and just shuts off. And um, that's obviously very frustrating if you want to go fast. Fast in that case is maybe, I don't know, around 10 kilometers an hour in the kayak. So, and uh, with the 2S you get about 6, 6.5 if you're optimistic. So, um, what would be the solution for the problem, for a challenge? Well, um, first very boring uh, solution would be just not use more power, don't use everything over 3S batteries and just be happy with 220, 300, 400 watts of power and, uh, uh, well, and uh, effective speed of maybe 7-8 kilometers an hour maximum but that is quite boring so um, the next obvious solution probably the most simple one is to just use a bigger EC and that I will probably try because I ordered a bigger EC for another project anyway so I can just uh, um, yeah just borrow it for a moment and um, but the problem with the bigger EC is it's obviously more expensive. So, for example, I'm now ordering a 180 amp EC. That one costs about three to four times as much as a 90 amp EC, but only gets double the power. So yeah, it's it's really getting expensive these uh, higher power ECs. And um, the uh, most complex but um, also most efficient uh, option would be to increase the gear ratio and the voltage because when we increase the voltage we get less current less current is always great because you get less heat and less power losses and um, also we could use uh, we could get away with the cheaper EC and um, yeah maybe 6S but um, there's also uh, the uh, drawback that um, it would be a lot of effort to um, implement. Uh, basically, would have to build a complete new uh, motor system, a completely new uh, mechanical drivetrain. And there's also a little bit of um, an issue with corrosion. So if you have wires hanging in the water, um, even if you have very corrosion, resi corro corrosion resistant materials like aluminum, uh, nickel um, or uh, brass alloys. Um, if you increase the voltage high enough you're gonna see some corrosion at least on the surface and this uh, will mean that the component the components the electrical po components in the water will probably not live as long. So yeah <coughs> that's about it I guess. Please let me know if you have any ideas how this system can be improved further. <laughs>